This is a model of staggered ethane, C2H6. So we look this molecule from this view. So we can see that there are three hydrogen atoms at the top. Staggered configuration compared with the other three hydrogen atoms at the bottom. Alright, so now we are going to find out the symmetric element separation for this molecule. So the first one is rotation exists. So we look three hydrogen atom at the top. Trigonal shape and also the other three hydrogen atoms at the bottom also. Trigonal shape. So it means that this is 120 degree, the angle. So we can rotate C3 exists here through the carbon carbon so we try to rotate the molecule so we look at this hydrogen should be here after the rotation 120 degree through this c exists we get the same configuration and we try again we get the same configuration as well. Alright, so the next, this molecule also has another rotation exists, which is C2 exists. So, the exists is between carbon-carbon bond here. So, will be C2 exists here. So now I'm going to show the rotation. Alright, so this is C2 exists. So we are going to rotate 180 degree through this C2 exists. So we look at this hydrogen atom at the top. Will be down there. And this hydrogen atom will be go up here. So we try to move now. get the same configuration and we rotate again we get the same configuration all right actually there are another two c2 exists at this carbon carbon bond so this is for the second And this is for the third C2 exists. So I'm going to show you from the top view like this. Alright. So from this view, we can see that there are three C2 exists. Perpendicular with the main axis C3. So, point group for this molecule should be dihedral point group because there are three C2 axis perpendicular with the main axis C3. So, next we are going to find out the plane for reflection. So, let's say we put a plane here in the middle here, cutting through here. So, we can see that we will get the same configuration, left and right. And we can also put a plane here. And we can also get the same configuration. And we put another plane here. We can also get same configuration. So, it means that for this molecule, there are three planes. And... These three planes are parallel with the main axis. Alright, so the point group for this molecule should be D3D. Alright, the next we want to find out another 
symmetry elements operation which is center of symmetry so the center should be here in the middle between carbon carbon bond here so we try to inverse hydrogen atom there and this hydrogen atom inverse through here at the center we will get the same configuration and we try to inverse this hydrogen atom and that hydrogen atom through this center again we get the same configuration and we look at this hydrogen atom inverse through this center with this hydrogen atom again we get the same configuration so in conclusion this molecule has center of symmetry next we want to find out the sn which is improper rotation so we look from this view all right so this molecule has s6 symmetry elements operation so it means that we need to rotate first c6 so this is the c6 axis passing through the carbon atom so we are going to rotate 60 degree so this hydrogen rotate 60 degree will be here all right so again this hydrogen atom rotate 60 degree through this axis will be stopped here so we need to do the second operation which is reflection so the plane should be perpendicular with the main axis here just now so you just imagine through the axis here we rotate 60 degree we'll stop here and then reflect through this plane so the hydrogen will be go down there so we get the same configuration so that's how the s6 for this molecule